Hi YouTube, this is Tamara and you know my partner Emily. We are realtors in Naples, Bonita Springs and Estero areas in Southwest Florida. And today we are showing you the 54 acre new construction community of Antilles in South Naples. We're going to take you through the four model homes here, which are also the four floor plans that they have here, all coach homes. And then at the very end, we're going to take you through the amenities. Let's talk about the location. So we're actually a little bit further south than Esplanade by the islands. That's the other community we have done in this area. We are in South, South Naples, only another seven miles to Marco Island. In saying that, the closest beach is going to be Tiger Tail Beach, which is in Marco Island. My kids really like to go there because there seems to be a really huge abundance of shells there that you can go and have fun digging around and finding. We are only three miles to the crossroads of 951, also known as Collier Boulevard and Tamiami Trail. There is a bunch of big brands like usual Publix, Walmart, Ross, Marshalls, and then a bunch of little shops and restaurants in that area. The only thing I think it needs is a Costco. And then 12 miles to the downtown of Naples, Florida. And of course that will be the closest Naples beach where the Naples Pier is. All right, first we're going to take you over to those four model homes, so let's go. Okay, we at the model homes. Excuse all the new construction sounds in the background. The first two we're gonna show you are the classic coach homes. These are smaller and come with a one car garage. All of them have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. They are only only about 18 left of the classic coach homes. All of these have landscape views and face south and the price ranges are between $495,000 and $520,000. What they're noticing here is that price upgrades usually cost people around $8,000. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. Before we head inside, we wanted to mention that this community is owned by JMD Development and Investments and is built by the Henning Group. This model is called the Saba model. Let's head inside. As you come through the front door, you see that this is an open plan room. The Saba model is 1,537 square feet under air. And for you who are like me, maybe who are from out of state, under air just means the area that has AC. So that's not including the space in the lanai. So if you come over here into the kitchen, we've got quartz countertops. As we go through these models, you're gonna see different finishes in each of them. So just keep that in mind as you are viewing these homes. One thing we like to mention is we like these, this pantry or a slim pantry, but look at the wooden shelving and this is standard throughout the homes. Right off from the kitchen is your laundry room. I actually like how they did the slat door like this. So there's a little bit of airflow, you know, when the dryer is running and it gets kind of warm. There's cabinets in there and your AC is gonna be behind there. And then as you follow along down the passageway, there is a full bathroom. And what we really liked about a lot of these models is there's a lot of linen closets. So that's nice. And then on this side, they have the guest bedroom. They set it up as an office. So of course you can set that up however you would like. And the second guest bedroom is gonna be on this side. And this is one of the features we really liked if you head down the passageway with me is you have this extra door that you can access your home from. So if you have children or grandchildren or guests and they're coming in late and you don't want to hear them, they can just come right through this door and access their rooms. And then lastly through here is your one car garage and it's got the epoxy flooring, which is standard. You will see that in all the garages in this community. We're back in the living room now. I really love the furniture. These communities always get really talented designers. So we always appreciate that. It makes it feel very homey. And I'm gonna head out now into the lanai. And something to mention also is these sliding glass doors so that brings in a lot of light. And during the winter time when it's cooler, you can open these and your house becomes bigger. Another thing to mention is that these doors are impact glass and that is standard throughout the home. Really nice lanai with a landscape view and of course it is screened. Coming from someone who's lived here for a while now, you want it screened. You don't want to get bit by the Florida bugs. Now off the living room is the main bedroom. Also another thing to mention is these are solid doors. They are seven feet tall and all the ceilings throughout the home are gonna be nine foot four inches. This is actually a pretty large room. This is a king size bed right here. There's nice neutral colors in here and it's really nice to have the plantation shutters as an option. Of course, in your main bedroom, you're gonna have your main bathroom. You have the butler door. So that gives a little bit more space. Double vanity, 
enclosed toilet, which is always the best, and the nice glass shower. The bathroom tiles go all the way to the ceilings like you will see in all the bathrooms, so that's great. And then through here, you also have another butler door that takes you into the pretty decent sized closet. Okay, let's go ahead to the next classic coach home, which is upstairs. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in the Tobago model now. This one is slightly smaller than the downstairs unit. It is 1,509 feet under air. Also a three bedroom, two bathroom. This one does feel a little more roomy. Perhaps that's because of even more natural light. Because we're on the top floor, this has even higher ceilings, 10 foot ceilings and eight foot doors. Once again, the impact glass comes standard here. And obviously being on the upper level, you see more of the lush part of the trees. So that's really great and just a nice area to chill on the lanai. These homes have really been built cleverly in order to mitigate any sound from neighbors. They are concrete block all the way up to the roof. Also 12 inch concrete beams are separating the two homes. And on top of that, there's even two inches of concrete poured on. So that's just really good sound blocking mechanism. We did speak to somebody that was renting in this community and they hardly ever heard a peep from their neighbors, probably only when they're moving furniture or something. In the main bedroom, this is very similar to the other coach home that we just filmed. The tiled floors, again, there's plenty of options on that and they even offer LVT flooring. This one does not have the plantation shutters, they chose not to have it in here. And it's got a very similar bathroom with the butler door, the double sink, shower and enclosed toilet, always the best. Plus there's the walk-in closet, of course. Just real quick, very similar to the last one, laundry room off the kitchen. And then you come up into this corner, you have two bedrooms. One is set up as an office, like in the last place. And this corner bedroom is actually quite large, larger than the downstairs second guest room. Because this area doesn't have a passage to the garage and doesn't have that side entrance like the last one. Once again, bathroom very similar to the last one where the tiles go all the way up to the ceiling and a linen closet. Always good to have. Okay, we're gonna take you to the two grand coach homes now. These are bigger and have the two car garages. The first grand coach home we're gonna take you to is called the Montserrat, where all the living space is going to be on the top. And did you know that every floor plan in this community is named after islands in the Antilles Islands? I didn't know that. When you head in here, this is actually pretty cool. There is this little area right here where you could actually make like a small mud room. And over here, you're gonna have access to your two car garage with the lovely epoxy flooring. So there's quite a few stairs here, but don't be put off by that if you don't want stairs because we heard that there is an option to put an elevator in if you want, and that costs around $40,000. What we think is really awesome is this bonus area at the top of the stairs. We were talking to someone else who lived here for a period of time and they had their own office right here. There's enough space from here to the living dining area. If there are people hanging out in there watching TV, there's not a lot of noise. If you continue this way away from the loft, here's a laundry room. It is a little bigger than the other one. There is a full sink right here and plenty of storage. And then continuing to the left, more closet space, yay. You have your guest bedroom and a full bath through here. Coming around the corner from the bathroom, you head through here is the open concept living, dining room, and kitchen. And we really like how they added a little bit of bar area. So if you head this way, you can see that it is larger than the classic models. Head over here to look at this kitchen. Look how big it is. I love this huge island. You've got all this counter space here, all the counter space here. Look at all this storage. You could fit a lot of stuff and do a lot of entertaining with this room. And we really love this pantry. It's a pretty decent size and it has those wooden shelving that is standard. This dining room area is a pretty large space. They have a six seater table here. You probably could get eight seats. And there is a really lovely view of the trees and a large living room. Plenty of room for lots of kids and guests. I really love how the whole area from the side of the dining room all the way to the living room is these sliding glass doors. Like I said earlier, especially in the winter time when you open it up, it just makes your home even that much bigger. Right off the kitchen and living room, this is the second guest bedroom. It's got the double doors. If you didn't need it, I think this would make a really great office since everyone's just right out there. But otherwise, it's got nice light. It feels very homey. Let's head into the main bedroom off of the dining room. You can see this is a pretty large room. It has tray ceilings just like the living room area. This one is shown carpeted, so that is one of the options if you like that. Not everyone likes that, but everyone's different. And then of course, you head this way, you've got the main bathroom. You have the linen closet through here, enclosed toilet, 
Devil vanity. This is actually pretty large, not too big, not too small. And glass showers and a pretty large walk-in closet. The last model we're taking you through is the Nevis. This one is just under 2,000 square feet under air. I like how they've put the plantation shutters on the front door just for some extra privacy on the glass door. Come have a look. So we're in the open concept area as usual. Um, this kitchen is also huge with the amount of cabinets that there are. Uh, really surprising. We don't normally see that many cabinets on homes in the 2,000 square foot range. Very similar with the walk-in pantry and the nice wooden shelving is standard. Again, out here, the sliding doors, just like the upstairs unit where there's two sections of sliding doors and a nice long lanai. Just taking you around here near the front door, just off the front door, is the third guest bedroom. Very similar to the last one with the double doors. as a slightly smaller room with a smaller closet, but still very functional. Come down this passage past the kitchen, and this is very surprising. There's a huge storage room with all the lovely standard wooden shelves that's super useful. Just opposite the storage room is a linen closet, so more storage space. Right behind me is the bathroom, and to my left is a guest bedroom. Yeah. To my left round the corner here is the laundry room. This is a bigger one like the last, the grand coach home, the other one we showed you. It's got a nice sink in it. It's just a really nice functional laundry room. And to my right here is the double garage. Now into the main bedroom. This one is tiled, so tiled throughout, which is really nice. Different to the last one we showed you. They've used plantation shutters in here and regular ceiling, not the tray ceilings like the last one. Bathroom is very similar. A very long counter for the double sink. To this side, another linen closet. We love those. Toilet behind an enclosed door, always great. Nice long shower and similar size walk-in closet to the last grand coach home we showed you. Finally, let's head over to the amenities and show you around. So we're in the Flamingo Clubhouse. This is a 5,000 square foot clubhouse. It has a lot of beautiful, relaxed seating, a lovely fitness room as well. It even has a catering kitchen, so you can actually hire the space out for your events. Outside is a beautiful, really large pool, 3,500 square foot infinity pool. There is a sun deck as well, several seatings, a barbecue. There's also a fire pit and a spa as well. And it overlooks the Kingfisher Lake. Apparently you can do fish in there for sports. I believe that's just catch and release. Four pickleball courts. We did see some people playing. Apparently there is a really large pickleball community here. It's just quite hot outside now, so there's only two brave souls out there. There are also two bocce courts. And there's this really adorable little putting green for kids. I really thought that was cute. You don't see that very often. The HOA fees are currently between $400 and $430 a month. If you're interested in this community for its beautiful coach homes and its awesome location right between Naples and Marco Island, please do give us a call. Don't be shy. Send us a text or call us, email us. You can also go into our website and fill in a quick inquiry form. It just gives us a little bit of brief information like the type of price range you're looking at, the area you're looking at, and whether you need help with a lender. Just ask a couple of questions, Not doesn't take very long. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.